An employee directory is an important part of a staff intranet. It can help with communication and it can create that collaborative culture where you can look up someone's job title and find out how you can work better with them. For onboarding new staff, it's a great way to find out about your new teammates. And you can access it from any device, anywhere. In this video, we're going to look at the Cloud Design Box staff directory for SharePoint and how you can use it in your organization. So in SharePoint, we've set up this nice attractive link to go to our employee directory. This is a staff directory of everybody that works in my organization. And I've got a number of filters across the top so I can filter by the letter of their first name or surname. I've also got filters for the department that they're in, the location and their job title. I can also search by their name if I know the name already. So I could pick a particular department, for example, the engineering department, and it will only show me people in the engineering department. I can also filter by the location, such as Birmingham. And if I needed to, I can also filter by their job title as well. Now, if I know the person's name, then I can just type in to the search here and find that person. You'll also see who is online with the presence indicator. In this case, John Dow is green, he's online. And if I select him, I can find out more about him. Maybe he's filled in his profile, put down his skills about himself. Um, I can see his job role, his location, and his department. And I can send him an email, or I can start a Teams chat with him. So it's a great way to connect with colleagues. Now, when we add this web part, there's a number of different ways we can customize it. So I'm going to go into edit mode and show you what those options are. So I can select the properties of this web part. So we can give it a title if we want to give the web part a title. We can show how many items are on each page because these results are paged if you've got a very large organization. And we can select the style of the web, of the web part. So this example, it's a small tile. We can do large tiles. We can do a list view, so we can see a list of all the people in the organization. And we've also got the fluent option where we've got the cards for each person in that organization. We can also uh, filter down the number of users because what you might find is if you put this web part on a page, you'll have lots of users that you don't want to show in this web part. So you might have people that aren't even real people. They might be just objects in your directory. Um, or there might be people that are contractors that maybe you don't want to show in that web part. So if you want to, you can apply a filter here. So we've used a, an AAD group, so it only shows us the relevant people in that organization. We've got the options in terms of the filters as well. So we can decide to show um, the filters or turn them off completely. We can show the letter filter if we wanted to. Um, or turn that off to counter the number of people that returned and then any of these options so we can turn on the phone number we can show the email the username now when you add this web part people can only see the stuff that they already have access to if they were just using out of the box SharePoint search so this web part doesn't elevate anyone's access but you may want to decide that certain bits of this uh, information you want to hide from the user because it might not be relevant uh, for them and we also can exclude guest users so you may have guest users in your organization and you may have invited them in to do projects but they might not be part of your um, employees so you may not want to show them and we turn that off as default but you can always enable guest users in our directory if you want to so let's have a quick look at the list view and publish the page and you can see the filters work in exactly the same way. We can filter for the location Birmingham. We can filter the department, so maybe just the engineering department. Um, and we can see a list of all those people in that department. And we can also open up the side card and we can contact them as well. Now, one really cool way of using this web part uh, is if I wanted to maybe highlight some employees on a page. So I could use it not as a staff directory, but I could use it as an employee spotlight as well. So 
imagine I wanted to highlight the engineering team. So in this case, I've got a group called engineering team in AAD. So I'm just going to add that in here. And this will drill down the users. You can see it's now just showing the engineering team. Now I'm going to hide the filters, hide the search, hide the letter filter, sh uh, hide the people count. Um, and I'm going to switch the view to the small tile view. And I'm going to uh, call this um, engineering team. And you can see actually now this web part can be used as a dynamic way to show your team members on a SharePoint page. And again, you get the same options. You can send them an email, start a team's call, find, see the profile information, contact information. But you could have this on any SharePoint page and you could have it represent your teams. And as soon as somebody gets added into that group, it's going to appear in the web part. So you don't need to come back and update your SharePoint pages. I hope you found that useful. And if you're interested in any of the Cloud Design Box solutions, please visit our website www.clouddesignbox.co.uk.